seats which they need to govern in their own right in the new 93 seat parliament. There is one seat left, Capella Bar, and if that, as expected, falls to Labor, that will give them 48 seats, which is a two-seat majority in the 93-seat House. We have been a long time getting to this particular point in time. As you can see, I think, the Premier is uh, being driven up to Government House. She will meet uh, Paul de Jersey there. They'll have a cup of tea. And Anastasia Palaszczuk will say that she has the numbers to govern in her own right and he will commission her then to go and form a government. She will then come back here to 1 William Street, which you can see is a pretty spectacular view from this part of the world. She'll come to the 41st floor here at 1 William Street and face some questions from the, uh, uh, the media, including the big galoot from Channel 7. Of course, uh, over the weekend, she will finalise her ministry. There will be a caucus, a Labor caucus meeting of all 47, expected to be 48 MPs on Monday at Parliament House and then the swearing in process will happen after that. Of course, Tim Nichols, who started today's proceedings in motion by uh, at 10 o'clock, uh, conceding to Anastasia Palaszczuk. He's decided not to recontest the leadership. They will also, the LNP will have a leadership fight on its hands on Tuesday afternoon. Deb Frecklington, Deputy Deb to uh, Tim Nichols. She's put a hand up to lead the party on a ticket with Tim Mander, the former NRL referee. They have uh, a joint ticket together to be leader and deputy leader of the LNP. Uh, of course, uh, a short time ago, in the last 10 minutes or so, John Paul Langbrook, the former leader, he was uh, deposed in 2011 in favour of a Campbell Newman uh, run at the uh, leadership, which of course we all know only lasted one term before Anastasia Palaszczuk turfed him and the LNP government out of office in 2015. So John Paul Langbrook is going to contest the leadership against Deb Frecklington as well. But today's all about Anastasia Palaszczuk and she has officially entered the history books by becoming the first woman to take a party from opposition. Remember, they were a seven-seat uh, minivan party effectively after the drubbing that was handed to them in 2012 under the leadership of Anna Ply. She took them, Anastasia Palaszczuk, from seven seats into government after just one term and now has won a second consecutive term for the Labor Party. It'll be interesting to see what happens in terms of their cabinet makeup. She's about to enter the gate, so uh, the lower gates there of Government House will open. Uh, she'll drive up that little driveway to the uh, portico area under the uh, she is now through the gates at uh, Government House. She'll drive up that little hill to the portico area and uh, either the governor, I'm not sure, I can't see if the governor is there or one of his aides will uh, meet the Premier, elect, and take her up the steps of Government House. Well, they'll sit down and have a, a nice cup of tea. Not sure, is it Earl Grey? Do we know what sort of tea the Premier... I'm looking at the Premier's offsiders. No, no one knows what sort of tea the Premier will have. Perhaps at a, a, an Arnott's assorted cream to go with it as well. Uh, the swearing-in process for the... The Governor's aide is uh, greeting her uh, under that portico now, and then, as I say, they will go into Government House for the formalities, and then she will come out uh, and drive back down to the city to 1 William Street, uh, where she'll host a media conference. I fully expect that the full ministry, after the Labor factions have hammered out who is going to get what ministry, and regardless of what the politicians say, that is exactly what happens. The ministry would be sworn in on Tuesday. So now we're just waiting for the Premier to come back down here to 1 William Street for uh, a bit of Larry Dooley from the media, I presume. We will look forward to that. We'll stay on 7. We will bring you the Premier's victory speech live, plus full coverage in 7 News at 4 and our main bulletin, 9.30.